want to just show my condolences to Renegade number one. Um, me and Renegade, um, we met at Zaxby's back in 2018. We were co-workers. Um, when I first met Renegade, you know, I, I, f I knew that he was on a different level mentally. I mean, the dude was brilliant. Um, when I first met him, I kind of was a little intimidated because, you know, I, you know, at first I thought he was kind of, you know, he wasn't as friendly as most people that I'm normally used to meeting. But as I got, you know, the chance to um, vibe with him and get a feel for his personality, I started to see, you know, OK, dude's cool, you know, um, you know, we worked at Zaxby's together and um, we talked about, you know, different things, you know, involving life and, you know, um, you know, things of that nature. And, um, you know, um, he, he was a deep thinking type of person. He wasn't like, you know, especially within the black community, the mindset that most black people have, you know, his mindset was on a whole nother level. You know, his, his his mentality was just different. And it's it's not every day you come across a person with a mind frame like he had, you know, especially within the black community, because a lot of black people, you know, just have a, a low IQ. You know, his IQ was extremely high. And, you know, it's crazy. I thought this was really a joke because me and Renegade met up at a burger spot a few weeks ago in February about first or second week in February. And we had a burger and we were talking about life some more, you know, you know, um, I think he reached out to me because he was concerned about me and my well being. Um, when we were hanging out and talking and everything, he actually told me that he was ready to die. And I didn't think nothing of it. It went over my head because, you know, people say things and, Sometimes you don't know if they're being serious or sarcastic, but um, it, it's just sad. You know, like I used to work with this dude back in 2018 and we were just we just met up at a burger spot not long ago and had a meal. And now and now this, you know, and. I remember even last year, me, uh, Batman Beyond and Renegade, we all made a video together. You know, talking about, you know, you know, women and just, you know, this whole, you know, guys who are, you know, ostracized in life. But um, this situation, man, I, I had a hard time believing it. You know, I, you know, I was about to tear up today working, you know, thinking about this situation. And it's just it's just sad. I mean, the second person that I that I've known has taken their life, you know, um, I'm, you know, I'm also make a tribute to Baraka as well, but, um, it's just crazy. Like, you know, when you talk to people, you never know what a person is dealing with, you know, because, you know, Renegade, he had sex with women. He, he even told me that, you know, it, it was females that found him attractive. So I'm thinking to myself, you know, he must have really been fighting some some other demons that were really weighing on him, you know, and, um, you know, this is why I do my best, you know, to not judge people and, you know, to treat people with respect all the time, because you never know what a person is dealing with internally. You know, I fight a lot of demons day to day, you know, um, that's why I used to get on YouTube and rant and rave the way I did. And a lot of the things that I said was crazy. You know, had people thinking that I have a serious mental problem. But, um, you know, you know, life can really beat some people down. And, you know, you never know what a person may be dealing with internally because people wear masks when they step out into society. You know, they act like everything is all good, but they really hurting on the inside. And, you know, it's just shocking to me that this incident happened because it's like, dang. A few weeks ago, first, second week in February, we, we met up, me and Renegade, you know, 
And I, I really thought this was a joke when I first heard about this, you know, but I'm, I'm, I'm seeing now that it is true. You know, I first saw the bulletin that uh, base Pluto had uh, put on this on his page. You know, I just say. You know, like I said in my suicide video, I don't condone suicide, but you never know what a person may be dealing with. You never know what a person may be going through. Sometimes the pressure of life, it really weighs down on people and they end up doing things, you know, that are just just detrimental. And. It's just a sad situation, I mean. My condolences go out to Renegade's family, you know, um, it's just crazy, man, because it's like, you know, it's just it's just unfortunate because you just never know what people are going through or what they may be battling. You know, people, they may look like they got it all together on the outside, but they're really hurting internally. And it's just it's just sad. It's just sad. And, you know, I always try to tell myself, you know, material possessions, you know, that ain't going to make you truly happy because. I tell myself, you know, you got wealthy people who put bullets in their head, you know, and I tell myself, you know, you can have it all and still be empty, you know, you know, because sometimes I think to myself, well, if I had big money and if I had all the things that I want and if I could pop bottles of Sean Dawn every day, you know, I'd be happy. But you got people who have all of that, you know, and they're still unhappy and miserable. You know, so, you know, I have to tell myself that, you know, you can have it all and still be empty. You know, you know, I just feel, you know, not to get preachy here. I just feel that uh, you got to have some type of spiritual connection because, you know, it's a lot going on in this world. A lot of people going through a lot and a lot of people don't express what they really feel and they just hold it all inside and. It's just sad, you know, because, you know, I just couldn't believe this. Like, you know, you know, something was kind of telling me deep down in my intuition that Renegade may end up doing something to himself. But I didn't want to think like that, you know. You know, because, you know. It's just unfortunate, man, like. It's just it's just sad, man. Like, damn. You know, like. It's just like, damn. It's just sad, man. My condolences go out to his family. You know, it's just it's just a total shock when you just saw somebody a few weeks ago and now you hear about him dead. Like, damn. Man. All I can say, man, is stay prayed up and uh, have some type of spiritual connection in your life because, you know, sometimes the pressure of life can 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 become overwhelming and, and, and some people can't take it. They end up taking themselves out, you know. But I'm going to go ahead and sign on now. R.I.P. to Renegade. Peace.